Rotherford Devils victorious here at Headingley Leeds. Finished Leeds Rhinos 12, Salford Devils 20. Fantastic win for Salford Devils. We've not got the best record here, but what a win tonight. No, we've not got the best record. Our uh, record's pretty oh, yeah. atrocious at Edinburgh, but you know, the, the run that we're on at the moment, 6-8 on the spin before tonight, the, the team are brimming with confidence, aren't they? And I think what I was just hitting the nail on the head, how he's described tonight's game, it wasn't the flamboyant sort that we've seen in recent weeks, you know, scoring you know, lots of points oh, and that, it was a gritty performance tonight. It was playoff football, that wasn't it, in a way. And um, you've got to win the ugly games like that. You've got to come here and do the business. And the goal line defence tonight at any time was absolutely tremendous, wasn't it? Leeds threw a lot at us tonight. I thought they had a lot of possession. And so did we as well. Both sides defended really well. It was a really exciting game to watch. I mean, he put me through the ringer in the second half. I was having kittens until Joey Lussick went over. But no, great to get the winner. As you said, our record is poor, so it's good for the fans. The yeah. fans are brilliant tonight. We've got a big following as well. Yeah, fantastic start for Salford. Nine levels going over after a fantastic break by Jackson Hastings. Just the start Salford needed. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a good try as well. Jackson Hastings was... Uh, did really well there to, 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 to split the defence, he sort of cut in between, toyed with the defence really, and now levels are there backing up to the you know, floor wasn't to score, so levels are always in the right place in the right time. Another try for him as well to take him level, I think with Ash Handley, you know, he's he dropped an interception in the game, so he's uh, got 23 tries. Yeah, so, so yeah, great try for him as well. Yeah, fantastic. Jake Bimby got on the score sheet as well. Lovely really work by Nile Levels, putting through the gap. Fantastic try for Sulphur Devils, and we were in full 12 now. Yeah, he certainly was, yeah. Uh, Jake Bibby had to finish that as well, didn't he? It was good play from Bibby and uh, no, it was another good try. It was good ball move, but the ball was whipped out wide there. Really slick hands went in. Bibby finished it well in the in the corner. It was hard to see how I, I stood behind the goals in the West Terrace. So anything at that end of the field was really hard to see. And those lights around the side of the pitch that were flashing the sponsor was it was really hard to see in the lights and I must say this this stadium's a magnificent stadium, isn't it as well? But uh, no great to get a 12-point lead there and it was looking comfortable I thought there at that stage. Yeah, try by Richie Mayo though, leads hit back. Pressure started to build on Salford at that point. Leeds hammered in that in that sort of 20 minutes in that second half. But like you said, Salford stood firm and defended well. Yeah, they did. There was a point in that just before that one was 12 them up. I think we, we attempted a 40-20. I'm sure it was Hastings and um, the Leeds man did tremendously well to keep the ball in the field of play. I don't know how he did it. And, um, that, that could, we could have scored after that, that could have probably put Leeds to bed, but they, they came back there, you got a credit and they kept on fighting, it was good backing up there, Richie Mayo, it was a good try that Leeds scored there, and at 12-6, they dropped the ball on the next set from the kick, I think they made the mistake, and then we got that penalty, and you know, Chris and Inney did the right thing, I think, taking the two points there, 14-6 at half time was a good lead. Yeah, and obviously, at that point, half, sort of halfway through that second half, Leeds Rhinos sort of put the pressure on us, Jamie Jones Buchanan scored for Leeds, and the jitters were coming, weren't they? Both on and off the field. It, looked, it felt at the moment, at that point, that Leeds were going to come back. Yeah, it did. It did, and Leeds were attacking. They had a lot of possession, didn't they? And it was a fifth tackle play that there that kicked through for Jamie Jones Buchanan, and he did well there to get the ball down. It's a good try. That and at 14-12, then both sides were bashing away each other. Weren't they? It was a really good contest. Really good, good contest there down in the centre of the field. But I thought we we did enough. You know, Salford sides of all would have collapsed there today. And, tries but we did show a lot of great lot of determination and in that arm wrestle there I thought, I thought we, we did really well. Yeah and obviously we weathered that storm and then Joey Lusick trademark dart from dummy half crashes over the line for Sulphur Red Devils madness behind the goal yeah, Sulphur fans celebrating you know what a moment it was uh, James Oskis and give me a right good okay did it? Right, let's watch me. oh yeah it was brilliant it was great to, to see and um, you know, we had about four or five sets of six there, and I think we were trying too hard at times to get over the line and panicking and trying to score in every play. And um, you know, we, we was behind the sticks. We was trying to suck the, the ball over the line. You know, suck the players over. He was, oh, when Joey went over there, he was, was pandemonium. It, it just sucked so, the relief. It was amazing. Uh, it really was, and uh, he deserved that try. He worked really hard as well. And there was an incident before that where Jacko got over the line and the Leeds player booted the ball out of his hands. We got a penalty off that. And really, I thought that was a professional foul. And perhaps it should have been Simbin, but. Oh, Unfortunately, a flare was thrown onto the field by the Salford fans. Nobody got hurt, but it's not a good, not a good thing for people outside our bubble because the rugby league press and the, the national press might pick up on that and paint the club in a bad light. Nah, I, don't, I think it's one, one individual. You're always going to get some sort of cracker jack, aren't you? He's had a belly full of ale and he throws something like that out of the pitch. So that's, that's, that's by the by. They put it out. Nobody got hurt, like you said. And, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, as they say. Yeah, I can't believe someone in the press conference asked, what all about? Yeah. <laughs> That's about <laughs> the game. Yeah, well, like you say, it's a thing that happened, and I'm sure the club will be looking at yeah, that. Yeah, it's a silly thing to do. Yeah. It's a silly yeah. thing to do. Yeah. It was a good injury, somebody, couldn't it? And it, it, 
the thing is, he put Chris, put Chris in you off. He's, he's goal kicking. He's, he's lining a goal kicker. Let's put his eight in front of some pillar throws a, yeah. a flare on. So you know, sort, sort your head out. It's silly. Yeah. So obviously, you know, that incident happened, but we hung on that in that last sort of ten minutes. Showed plenty of grit, plenty of determination, and saw the game through. Yeah, we did. We managed the game really well in that last ten minutes. There, you know, kicking for touch when we needed to, and uh, you know, I thought the two with all the defence was excellent. But, Watto said it about Niall, you know, everyone sort of credits Niall for his um, attacking play, his defence and his goal line defence and mopping kicks up tonight. I thought it was absolutely sensational tonight and, you know, I thought it was a Pritchard A guy said it credit to him, he spoke really well in the press conference and he, he sort of said they, they learned stuff off Salford tonight that we showed them how to play. Yeah, obviously looking forward, Hull Kingston Rovers uh, next week, it's a do or die game for them. You know, we are in the playoffs, but we want to finish as high as possible. So it's going to be a crackerjack of the game uh, next week at the AJ Bell Stadium. Yeah, it certainly is. And I think it's good for us that, that OK and I've got that um, sort of must win mentality about them because then it keeps us on the boil, then, doesn't it? Because every game for us now is playoff football, doesn't it? Playoff rugby league. And that's what, what I want. He wouldn't want a damp sort of game where. Um, what is it? Is it a damp squid or a damp yep, squid? Yeah, damp squid. I don't know what that analogy is, but whatever, a damp squid. And he won't want that. He wants the players playing at full pelt every week now. And that's what you need going to the playoffs. And I think that'll do us the world of good next week. And it's going to make it a great prospect as well. Yeah, so fantastic win for Salford Devils. Roll on Old Kingston Rovers next week. I'm sure the club are going to announce when it's going to be, play, going to be played. Uh, we've got the draw for the yeah, two signed yeah, shirts. Yeah. Paul's got the, uh, the tickets all out. It's Sunday night drawing these out. There's hundreds of them. So there's, there's two signed shirts. The, the club have got the shirts. They're signing them, so we'll give yep. them away next week. So, so I'll let Rob draw them out. Pick the, pick the name. There's two. Two names. First one is Ian Jackson. Ian Jackson, winner of one of the shirts. Well done, Ian. We'll pass it on to you next week. Might see that. Ian Jackson. And we're not uh, not taking it. Yeah. Next one. Trying to build a bit of pressure, a bit of tension. Next one. The second winner is Phil Higgins. Higgins. Higgin. 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 Phil Higgin, victorious, gets the second Ooh. shirt, Paul. Well done, boys. Both signed by the by the players. Uh, we'll be in touch and we'll yeah, organise that. Yeah, get in touch with on the Facebook page and we'll start out meeting you next week at the Old Car Game. Or if you're not there, we'll post them too. Yeah, so fantastic win for Salford Devils tonight at Henley Stadium, Leeds. Uh, and roll on next week uh, for the game against Hawkins and Rollers. See you next week.